So we're in Madrid at the Fuse event. I'm here with Sadayuki Abita. He is global head of Open RAN and OREC evangelist at NTT Docomo. Uh, Sadayuki, thanks very much for joining us today. Good to see you. Yeah, hello, and uh, uh, thank you very much for inviting me. Um, so uh, NTT Docomo is one of the pioneers, really, in Open RAN, and you've been uh, using Open RAN systems in your network already for a while. Can you just give us an update on the role that Open RAN is playing in the Docomo networks? Yeah, we all, uh, launched the uh, Open RAN. That means that the March vendor, fully March vendor interoperable uh, radio access network from 2020. And after that, uh, we also uh, selected new vendors because thanks to the open interface, we can add the new vendor according to the performance and also the cost. So uh, we add the uh, more vendor. And now is that we have three uh, Genome vendor and four RU vendors. So it's fully much vendor interoperable. So according to our deployment scenario, we can put on the any equipment. Okay, so and the scenarios maybe being in a in an urban area or rural area are these the kind of different um, setups you have? Yeah, exactly. So the the uh, the dense urban area you 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 imagine the Tokyo metropolitan area, so so many so many people we have that uh, the high capacity uh, of course we need, and uh, but cell size size itself is small because that so you know. Uh, population is very high, but rural areas, you know, we need the wide coverage, and uh, population is not so large. So we, 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 according to that, so scenario, we choose the best RU and the best CU. Okay, so uh, with a couple of years of experience uh, under your belt at Docomo, um, are you finding now that uh, the open RAN technology that's available? is now becoming more flexible in terms of the combinations you can have. I mean, is it easy now to bring in, if you wanted another radio unit supplier, is that relatively easy as long as that the vendor is conforming to the uh, open RAN specs? I think so. So from the beginning, uh, so back to the 2019, yeah, <laughs> when we completed that uh, interoperability test, it takes a long time. But uh, uh, recently, yeah, uh, for example, last year, uh, we uh, completed uh, so interoperability uh, between different vendors. It's just uh, uh, one week to complete the uh, LC call. So uh, vendor understanding the specification as well. And uh, also that the, there are many test tool cases, test tool vendors. So it also helps uh, to uh, shorten the time of the interoperability test. Okay, so the, the, the market's maturing and that's helping operators such as yourself. Now, uh, you've been on the agenda here at the show uh, talking in some of the sessions and you mentioned here that, um, that Open RAN can deliver a greater supply chain security yep. to operators. Can you just talk a little bit about that and, and, and how that works and why that is? Yeah. Uh, well, so uh, since we are using that uh, uh, much better interoperable uh, network, that means that uh, any uh, place we can use a different vendor's equipment. That means that uh, when that some uh, vendor's equipment, uh, for example, the, uh, their development is delayed, or uh, due to that uh, semiconductor uh, shortage, the uh, vendor can't uh, provide uh, their equipment on time or significant delay, we still have that as a vendor and we can keep that uh, our uh, deployment scenario. Okay. Um, now, of course, uh, your job role also involves uh, being involved in uh, OREC, which is the 5G Open RAN ecosystem that NTT Docomo set up. Uh, what's the current status of uh, OREC and, and how is that developing and how do you see it developing in the future? How, how can it help other operators? Yep. Uh, so we launched the open, a uh, shared open lab. That means the operator can access remotely to our lab, and they can configure that. Uh, for example, that they can, if they want to use that, uh, so uh, different frequency band, they can remotely change the configurations, and also they can use a different vendor combination. So if they want to use that, uh, uh, for example, NEC. Uh, they choose NEC, or they want to use a Red Hat or Wind River, they can choose it. 
and they can uh, they can do the test. Uh, so the operators do not need their own uh, test bed. So using our uh, equipment remotely, so we, uh, then you can they can so you can reduce the cost and the time to see that the performance of the VLAN, for example. So and uh, we are already uh, discussing that the operators and uh, multiple operators show their uh, their interest to use our uh, shell wrap. And uh, we are uh, discussing that uh, uh, the uh, NDA and the MOU. So I think that then we we are sharing that our experience and our support. And I think that not only that uh, our partner uh, operator, but also ourselves, we can reduce the cost. Okay. And um, within OREC, is this just the technologies that have been deployed within the Docomo network in Japan? Or does that extend uh, further? Are there other technologies that perhaps you might use in the future or which are still in development, for example? Yeah, not, not only focusing on uh, Japan, because we are working with uh, other operators and provide that pre-integration solution to that operators. Of course, it's up to the operators. Uh, if that uh, they, they uh, do not want to uh, integrate by themselves, we can provide pre-integration solutions. Then, they, of course, uh, even though they don't have the capability of the integrations, we can uh, provide pre-integration so solutions. They still have that uh, uh, flexibility because that uh, we have the multiple options, and uh, we, we also support that uh, much vendors are used. So they, they still have the uh, flexibility, or they have the choice. Uh, if they want to use that, uh, so different their own countries uh, are you vendors, we can so connect to that vendors equipment. Okay. And then for, for the future, for Docomo, are you developing new capabilities in-house for your, for your network, say on the, on the software side and the management side as the Open RAN ecosystem evolves and matures? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we, we work in, uh, in-house. We actually developed that uh, SMO and uh, uh, RIC uh, in-house. Okay. And uh, this uh, SMO uh, actually uh, not only focus on single vendors uh, network, we assume that uh, are much vendor networks. So SMO support much uh, vendors uh, equipment. Okay, fantastic to hear that there are ongoing developments uh, and you know many operators and others in the industry will be very interested to know what uh, Docomo is up to because a very influential operator in the market. So Sadayuki, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you very much.